This unit is divided into three programs. The program you're about to see is on volume and density. This will be followed by buoyancy. And the third and last program in the unit will be on convection itself. But our story begins with volume and density. What does the word volume mean? What does the word density mean? Well, imagine that you're a junk car dealer and you want to send these eight old wrecks to the steel yard for recycling in this container. The only trouble is they're full-size cars and they won't all fit in. If only they were tiny little compacts, there'd be no problem. But they're not. That's only a dream. So it's time for the car crusher. But wait, how small should you crush them so that they'll fit exactly into the container? Well, how big is the container? Four meters? No, that's only its height. What you need to know is how much space there is inside it. Look at it this way. The outsides of the container make up a sort of envelope. What you need to know is how big the space inside this envelope is. Or rather, if we use the Greek word for envelope, how big the volume is. Because that's all the word volume means. How much space a thing envelops. The easiest way to work out the volume of something like a box is to measure not only its height, but also its length and its width. And then multiply all these together. 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. The container has a volume of 64 cubic meters. And since you have eight cars that you want to fit into it, you'll have to reduce the volume of each car to exactly one-eighth of 64 cubic meters, which is eight cubic meters. In other words, you'll have to crush each old wreck into a cube measuring two meters by two meters by two meters. So start compacting each car until it takes up exactly eight cubic meters worth of space. There, you now have eight compact cars. Your dream has come true, and they all fit neatly inside the container. But what's all this got to do with density? Well, the word dense comes from the Greek dasis, which means compact. So a car crusher, which turns full-size cars into compacts, is really a sort of density machine. It takes a car with a mass of, say, 2,000 kilograms and squeezes these 2,000 kilograms into a much smaller volume. So one way to increase the density of something is to keep its mass the same, but decrease its volume. You can also do it the other way around, of course. If we look at the density of the container, we see that when it holds two 2,000 kilogram cars, it's a quarter as dense as when it holds eight 2,000 kilogram cars. In this case, you increase density by keeping the volume the same, but increasing the mass. And now you know the meaning of the words volume and density. Don't you? Where did he go? Oh, how dense can you get?